If you're a venue that has many events, you might want your events to automatically be archived maybe a day after the event is over. Well, that's the default with SimpleTix. Um, whenever you have events, in this case, you know, today's the 16th, um, on this site, this event will be archived in probably in about um, five hours or so because that'll be 24 hours later. That's the default in SimpleTix. Um, so here's another site. They have an event that was actually last year. It looks like they turned off the auto archiving. Um, let's talk about that right now. So on the back end of your site, if you want to manually archive your event, you can click the archive button right here. Um, so you can, when you click it, it'll automatically archive it um, and remove it from your list. So to change those archive settings, if you go to settings in the back end and then click on store, if you scroll down here, you'll see the option to automatically archive the event um, X number of days or hours after the last event time. So in this case, they really wanted to turn it off, so I'll just change it to a really big number of 180, um, just to turn really that archiving feature off. But that all depends on your venue. You know, for some venues, if you have lots of different events, you don't really want old events to clutter the screen. So you probably want to go with the default that Simple Takes, which is you know automatically archiving it one day after the last event time. And if you want to shorten that up, if you have lots and lots of events, maybe six hours after the last event time automatically archive it, you can do that too. If you have any questions, let us know. Um, support at SimpleTix.com or leave a comment down below if you have any questions as well. We'll answer them. Thank you. Bye now.